So a couple of years ago when the Canon EOS R system just released, I was uh, able to use it very early on. I was really excited. It changed something in the whole photography world, I feel. Every colleague I would see at, at different shoots, everyone was just switching like this. So that's when I switched. I needed to use it. And now I regret it. I didn't do it sooner because the images are different. It's a different way of working. It, documentary photography is about trust because I want to be close. I want the camera to think for me. And the R5 and the R6, they both really think for you. I love the fact that it was lightweight, it was quick. Uh, the autofocus was so, it was amazing. So this camera really helped me to feel less invasive. Yeah, changed everything. So I've always been interested in subjects like women's rights, uh, equality, uh, just the human experience, things we all recognize. Of course, as a photographer, that it takes up a lot of time, but it's the one thing you need to do. You need to spend time, you need to be with people. So in that sense, I would say my style is quite personal. And then aesthetically, I don't like to have a big zoom lens on and take pictures from this distance to there. So I think the aesthetics of the image kind of resemble the, the storytelling as well. It's both in close proximity in some way. The perfect image gives you a, fe a certain feeling. You feel for the person in the image and at the same time you understand what they are going through. A couple of years ago when the Canon EOS R system just released, I was uh, able to use it very early on. I was really excited and the project I used it for was, it was actually the perfect project to work for this camera because it was a very sensitive subject. I photographed four families that recently had lost uh, the mother of the, like the mother of the families. And with these sensitive subjects, you really want to be a fly on the wall. So what I really liked about uh, the Canon EOS R is that it was so silent. So I wasn't bothering the day-to-day -day family life. I remember looking through the viewfinder and of course from working with the previous cameras, you didn't have a viewfinder like that. So you'd never knew what you were gonna get. Well, you could look at the screen, but that's the thing with sensitive subjects. You don't want to be constantly looking at your screen. So you had to either really trust yourself. With this camera, you didn't have to trust yourself because you could see it in the viewfinders. Yeah, I remember the first time using this advanced autofocus. It was on the R6. I was photographing a father pushing his daughter on a swing. And the swing was had like four ropes and it was twisting. And even though the rope was going in front of her face multiple times, it just stayed focused. I had never seen something like that. I couldn't believe it because even though it's very difficult when other things are moving in front of someone's face, it just stays with the eyes. And I just looked at the screen, I looked at all the images and they were all in focus. I was like, okay, this is amazing, <laughs> yeah. I, sh I shot a birth in the dark on the R system. It was so dark, I was afraid I wouldn't get the picture. But then because of the image stabilizer in the camera, you don't have to stop at a 60th second. You can go way lower than that and it will still be crispy clear. It's just the image stabilizer takes care of it. All these images from the birth are amazing. They are not only in focus, there's like a feeling in them that you can only get if you're focused on what's happening in front of you. What I love about the mount adapter is the fact that it integrates the EF lenses with the current R system. That's the biggest fear a lot of photographers have. Even last night I was at a dinner with another colleague and he said, no, I haven't made the switch yet because, because of the lenses. And I told him about the mount adapter. He's like, oh, okay, does it really work well? I'm like, it's super sharp. It's much sharper than I was used to. My photography has also changed in another way. I sometimes joke about it also with colleagues because I use the screen a lot and it kind of makes me feel like my dad, you know, who's like photographing like this, but I love it because you can see what the frame looks like and the camera allows you to tap on the screen and it focuses where you want it to focus. I love it and I never thought I would because as a photographer you feel like you have to be in this viewfinder all the time because you see the frame and it's... But I changed my way of working. It gives me different images totally different images. It's like a more real view sometimes of what the world looks like. So I use it all the time. I love it. I use it const constantly. It changed my storytelling. It changed the way I, I can take pictures. It made them better. It changed everything. To me, it's everything that this camera is here now, really.
I don't have to think about the camera. I don't have to think, oh, is it in focus? Is the light good? It's worth so much. The fact that I can just be with the people, listen to their stories, makes my storytelling a lot better.